to this video some frontier video my name is Jay Wakefield and if you watch my last video you'll remember that uh, I got this Dell Latitude CP I switched it on yesterday for the first time and I talked a wee bit about it and discovered that it was running Windows 98 now I've actually fixed everything up well when I say I fixed everything up, I've actually um, put my own operating system on here, Windows 95. However, I've also made a couple of changes. First off, what I've done is I've actually taken out the original 40 gig hard drive uh, based on the fact that A, it wouldn't have necessarily been that original to the laptop, and B, I just feel a 40 gig laptop, a uh, 40 gig hard drive would be better placed in, you know, a more modern machine. So, you know, I've taken a 40 gig out of here and I've put a 6 gig in, kind of more pertinent to this machine. Even though even 6 gig will have been a lot bigger than what this machine originally came with. Also, I found out that the CD-ROM drive that was in this machine was actually completely dead. I couldn't even eject it, you know, it just wasn't responding to anything. It was almost like it wasn't getting power. So I borrowed the drive from another CP series laptop that I have. Um, like I said, I put on Windows 95B. So we'll, we'll have a wee look at that now. Go down to Properties. It's got 32 megs of RAM. Okay. There's also Office 97 on here. Um, I've also found out... I mean, I thought this was a 1024 by 768 screen, but I should have kind of... I should have known that it wouldn't be... What would being a smaller screen than what's on the other C-Series machines. It is, in fact, a... It's, it's just an 800 by 600 screen. That, for me, makes it easier to see. And to be honest, it, it doesn't necessarily bother me too much that this isn't a 1024 screen. You know, because I think with Windows 95, it's you don't necessarily need a screen to be that big. I've installed a few programs. There's Adobe Acrobat Reader 4.0. Dell Accessories, which is uh, basically Dell's own... Utilities. It kind of replaces Windows' own. Um, in a way. But it kind of looks a wee bit dated. It's the sort of thing that would have uh, went well on a f Windows for Workgroups Packard Bell. So you've got things like um, security. I'm just going to step out of that. I know how difficult Dell BIOS passwords are to remove. You've got your speaker. Display properties, you've got uh, power management, devices, and about. While I was working with this laptop, I also upgraded the BIOS. And yes, for those for those in the know, you can actually access the BIOS while running when Windows on earlier Dell Latitudes. It's, it's a pretty neat feature to have. However, there seems to be a problem on this one. I can't actually change any of the settings in the BIOS. Um, so, to actually be able to boot and install Windows 98, I needed to boot from the floppy disk and attach my external CD-ROM drive. 
But did I say Windows 98? I meant 95. So, yeah, that, that was all sorted out. Um, the startup, there's Microsoft Image Composer. Well, of course, it's startup. QuickTime is also on here. There's also WinRAR. Uh, Microsoft Office 97 with front page and publisher 98. Um, the sound card is... The, the uh, speakers aren't as good as the CPIs. I will be honest, there is a wee bit of crackle at the top end, but it is a lot better than I thought it was. So I think what we're going to do... We'll, um, we'll, put on a, we'll put on a game, we'll put on Virtual Springfield. So what I'll do first is I'll uh, just turn the volume up a wee bit. So I mean it's not as bad sounding as I thought it would be. I mean the Windows 98 startup sound can make anything sound pretty bad. I mean it usually does push a lot of speakers to the limit where distortions can sound. So I have to reboot because obviously this is um I've just installed DirectX 3 which uh, you kinda need on Windows 95. And uh, today is the, th the uh, 1st of December. So it is um, kind of getting very close to Christmas time. Not sure how I feel about that. Uh, last Christmas for me was terrible, if I'm honest. Um, the whole entire time I was quite ill during the Christmas holidays. So... You know, it really wasn't the best. Do you know, I really can't believe... You know, I mean... I, would, I was really struggling there to say, you know, how I was at last Christmas. Because, you know, I'm going to. Because I was ill, basically, with my depression. But the reason I was scared is... People judge when you have depression. I mean, what's all that about? It's it's like you can't help it, so you know, folks shouldn't judge. Anyway, so we've seen this game running on the compact, the Armada 1750. So let's see how it runs on here. Uh, the hardware is uh, managed. It's a two megabyte Neo Magic Magigraph, one twenty eight XD. I must say, it actually runs better on this than it did on the compact. John you realise he says different things every time. Yeah, you can actually definitely tell with the distortion when you, you know, use the speakers for anything more really than Windows sounds. It's not too bad though, I mean you could you could plug in a, a pair of externals and you know be on your way. Alright I think auto is the only Simpsons uh, character I can do. Hi, Homer. Plus, 
last time we did a look at... Hey, man. Hey, Bart. Nice. I, I uh, love some of the animations in here. I love his no side show Bob poster. <laughs> yeah, I got Mel House. And, and if you do it again. See, this is the thing, I mean, I, I you don't know where, whether Bart's friends with the bullies or not. I don't, I think he is, he wants to be cool, but he's not intrinsically a bad person, so, I don't know. So you've uh, got Bart's desk, we'll have a wee look in there. Yeah, Mr. Fuzzy Bunny. Let me think. That was from Lisa on Ice. There's a catapult. And um, let's have a look. It's just a satchel or a book of some sort. I don't know what it is. Okay, uh, let's have a look at this. Again? Get a hobby. Yeah, I have a hobby. My hobby's playing vintage computer games. Let's have a look at uh, Lisa's bedroom. Hello, welcome to my room. Your assessment of my surroundings will undoubtedly play a substantial role in how I accept positive and negative reinforcement in my adult years. So please, judge fairly. <laughs> yeah, pretty much like my drawers. What's that t shirt? Hang on a minute. That's from the episode Lisa the Vegetarian. Let's have a look, you can play records. Oh no, that's uh, non-threatening boys magazine. Oh yeah, we all know Lisa likes Cody. I think Lisa's desk's got more interesting stuff on it. Let's have a look at this. So you've got this. Today Dad said I'm turning out just like him. I'll have trouble sleeping tonight. I visited Dad in the hospital today. It seems his pro wrestling career is over as quickly as it started. <laughs> <laughs> Never seen that. We've all we've all seen Homer Box. It's Wednesday and I'm thinking about Mr. Bergstrom again. Ah yes. I remember that episode. Can he remember the name of the episode? It's Thursday, and today I won first prize at the Ah, 
I like that. <laughs> it's, it's back dumber than a hamster. I remember that episode as well. Let's have a look. Reminder, when it stays your turn to feed the class pets, don't show Ralph where the food is, he puts it in his ears. Gerbil food in bottom drawer. Super Dude 2. Of course, the original Super Dude was crushed by his own water bottle in Who Shot Mr. Burns Part 1. Alright, 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 just calm down. Let's go and visit the Flanderses. Oh, I love this. Oh, very nice, Marge. <laughs> Ned Ned Flanders. Most likely to see Rapture. <laughs> Clarice Rashad. Most likely to marry a prominent f physician. That's Clarice, um, Dr. Hebert's wife. Homer Simpson. Most likely to develop painful ache. Congratulations, fellow seniorinos. May God be merciful upon you, Bull, Rocky and Kearney, even if my x-rays turn out positive. Quote, Oakley Dokley, Sports, Greco Roman Catholic Wrestling, uh, Activities, Bible Club, New Testament only, Up with People, Booster Club, Pep Rally Arrangement Committee. <clears throat> Homer Simpson, most likely to develop painful etching. Class of 74, I will miss you all. Well, except for the guys who used to give me a wedgie all the time. A not fat exchange student with the funny name. I won't miss him, that's for sure. Quote, I can't believe I ate the whole thing. Sports, none. Activities, none. You can go into the master bed. You can go into the ensuite bathroom. So you can... Uh, Big women. Play bets. Nuts. <laughs> I'd be a wee bit worried if there was a skull and, uh, the uh, back part of the loo. And then you can do the um, bathroom products race from Bart versus Australia. Woo! Look at it fly. Brilliant. You know what? I think what we're going to do, we'll go down the stairs and we'll head to the Flanders. Because there's uh, some funny stuff in there. Ha 
<laughs> All the channels are locked out. But then we say watch channel. It seems that's all Ned can pick up. Oh, and then you get to listen to the kids. Rod and Todd. You click on them, they'll sing, uh, I've got that joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. The song this in Lisa's fan fiction. Oh, yeah, the song this in Lisa's first word. If you click on them again, they'll sing, roll, roll, roll your boat. <laughs> Music of the Spanish Inquisition. Thirteen songs about Karen. The Courtney hate Christmas. Where'd, whoops. Where would have where would Flanders have these on his record? Life from the Acropolis. So if you remember the uh, water balloon game from Bart's Treehouse. Take the Buddha and turn him into a Christian. <laughs> nice. Instant arc just add water. Uncle Louie. Love it. <laughs> and I love this. You click on the table. And who else has their own personal church? Okay. <clears throat> so that's another look at the uh, Latitude CP. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, please subscribe. Instructions on how to do so will follow. Thank you for watching.